Hi everyone, it's Benza here. Ever wanted to start making cinematics in Unity? Fear not, I will explain the basics. This is by no means a complete tutorial, it is just to get you started. Also, I will be taking advantage of the volume system, so you need to be using either HDRP or URP. For the final video render, you will need DaVinci Resolve, which is a free video editor. Ok, first I assume you have your finished scene. Go to Window Package Manager. From the drop-down menu choose Unity Registry. Inside the Features drop-down look for Cinematic Studio and hit Install. It contains 6 packages, you can install them individually under the Packages drop-down. Wait for the packages to install. Now go to the Hierarchy, right-click and select Sequences and Master Sequence. Then click on Windows, Sequencing, Timeline. We want to use two different types of cameras. The first one will be a simple virtual Cinemachine camera. Right-click in the Hierarchy, click on Cinemachine and virtual camera. Do notice that your main camera got a new component called Cinemachine Brain and also that your main camera automatically snapped to the position of the virtual camera. Now move the virtual camera to a point that you like. As you can see our subject is out of focus. To change that select your virtual camera Click on Add Extension drop-down and select Cinemachine Volume Settings. This adds a new component to the virtual camera. In Profile, click on New, then click on Add Override, Post Processing and Depth of Field. Enable Focus Mode and select Manual Ranges. Turn on every option. Play with the values until your subject is in focus. You can blur the background to highlight your subject even more. To add our second camera, right-click in the hierarchy, select Cinemachine and Dolly Camera with Track. We got another virtual camera and a Dolly Track. The virtual camera is automatically assigned to the track. The track has two points with indices 0 and 1. Highlight the track and move to where you want it. By clicking on the index of an individual point, you can move only that one point. With the plus sign you can add more points. We made a track around our subject, but the virtual camera might not always look towards the subject. We create an empty game object and position it to where we want the camera to look. In the virtual camera setting, we drag and drop our newly created target into the look at field. Now our camera will always face towards our subject, no matter where it is on the track. We repeat what we did on the first camera. Cinemachine volume settings, extension, new profile, depth of field override and configure camera focus. To move the camera along the track, select the camera and under body, change the value in the path position field. In the hierarchy, select your master sequence and navigate it to the timeline window. Drag and drop your first virtual camera to the left side of the timeline and choose add activation track. On the timeline, you can change for how long and when your first virtual camera will be active. Now drag your first virtual camera to the timeline again and choose Add Animation Track. Click on Record, select your first virtual camera. Move it just a little bit to add a keyframe, then move the slider to the end position of the activation clip and move the virtual camera to a different position. Stop recording. You can watch the camera movement back using the play button on the timeline. Add an activation track and animation track to the second virtual camera as well. Change the activation interval and position to where you want and move the timeline slider to the beginning of the activation interval. On the activation track, hit record. Select your second virtual camera in the hierarchy. Under body, modify the path position. Add the keyframe with zero position and then move the cursor to the end of the activation period and enter the index of the last point of the track and turn recording off. If you made a mistake like me, double click on the animation track and you can edit the keyframes. Go to your main camera, select the Cinemachine Brain and set the default blend to cut. Open Window, General, Recorder, Recorder Window. Select Image Sequence, if you do not see it, click on Add Recorder, Create One. Select your desired resolution and aspect ratio. For now, go with PNG file format. Under Output, you can configure the file name. Make sure to use at least the frame wildcard, we will need that later. Hit start recording and then wait until all your frames are captured. Once Unity is done, you can stop recording and quit play mode. Next, boot up DaVinci Resolve and create a new project. Go to the media pool option. In the file explorer, locate your frames, select all of them and drag and drop them into the media pool. Because of the frame wildcard, DaVinci Resolve will realize your pictures form a sequence and will import them as one clip. Go to the edit tab and drag and drop the clip into the timeline. To zoom in, use the Alt plus mouse scroll wheel. Find the last frame taken with the first virtual camera and use the blade tool to make a cut. In the toolbox, go to video transition, select deep to color dissolve and drag and drop it into the middle of the cut. Now click on the deliver icon, add your video a name and a location. You can use my settings, just make sure to use the same frame rate and resolution you used for the video capture. Now click on add to render queue and finally render all. Congratulations, you made a video using the Unity engine and DaVinci Resolve. 
I hope that you find this video useful. If yes, make sure to like it. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!